Hello friends, welcome back to the 20th part of this tutorial series. In this part, we will be looking at the uh, authorization piece using roles. So in the previous video, we uh, implemented the file upload uh, capability here or a photo upload uh, endpoint. And we tested that with, a, with an image file. And we know that if the file is not an image, this API will simply block it. So at present, all these routes are being protected with our guard. Okay, as you can see here, we are using guards. We are using the auth guard that is uh, from passport package. But this will only limit the access to any authenticated user. So any authenticated user, whether it's an admin or not, can can create a post. Okay, we don't want that. I would like to limit the capability of creating a post, modifying a post and deleting a post, let's say only to the admins. Okay. So how can we do that? So if you visit the official docs of Nest.js, you will see there is a section for role based authentication and you can create your own guards and do all, all those kind of stuff. But I will not make things complicated. Instead, we will be using a nice package that will make our lives easier. So let me go to the uh, NPS website or npsjs.com here and I'll search for a package package that is nest access control, I think. Let's see. Uh, let me check if my notes which one did i use so it looks like this nest access control yeah the first one okay so this says uh, it's a it's an access control module for nest.js application okay and this is really really nice i'll i'll show you how you can use it so let's quickly copy this npm command and install it in our uh, project here. So once this is installed, we have to import the required module in the app module. Okay, so give it a sec. All right, it's done. I'll quickly jump to my app module file here. And after the auth module, where I define the auth module, I'll simply type access control module and this is imported from that package that we just installed so we'll call we have to call the for roles method here okay and it expects a roles property that is of type roles builder and some options if you want so we have to define this role so if you want you can define it here but in my case i'll define it, define it in a separate file under the auth folder will be user roles dot ts and here i'll simply export first an enum okay then name it user roles and also i'll export a constant with the name roles of type roles builder okay and this will be equals to new roles builder so this class here it's a class okay and this is this should be imported from the nest access control package or library and in this user roles enum we will define all the uh, various types of role that we expect so in my case i'll have only two roles one is the admin and the other one is reader so as you can see by default the entries they are assigned and indexed automatically and the admin is assigned the index zero and reader is one. Okay, this is just a hint, but I don't want to keep uh, indices here in the form of zero or one. Rather, or, or the, the corresponding value, okay, you can say. So the, if you type admin, it will have a value of zero and reader would have a value of one like that. But, but here I want the admin to have a value of a string that is admin and reader to have a value of a uh, string reader okay and here the way you define these roles so this roles variable 
is empty now. So first I'll define. So so if you think in any CRUD operation, there could be two possibilities that either you are creating your own post and modifying your own post. Okay, so or you can or you can you are a super admin and, and you can edit any post of created by any admin. Okay, so like that. So I'll simply grant the user roles dot reader. So this is I'm I'm defining the roles for the reader uh, user role basically. What are permissions I want to grant? So I'll simply grant in the next line read any. So I want the reader should be able to read any of the posts. Okay, so these are the resources I define here. You can define any name you want. This does not have any relation with the actual post here. I can name it anything like I want. I would like I can define it ABC also. Okay, doesn't matter. But this is for my own reference. Okay, and you can uh, enter an array of resources. At present, I, I only have one post resource. So after that, I don't want the reader to be able to delete, update or modify anything. Okay, only read. So read any. And there is another read that is read own. So if you do this, then, then, then the user will only be able to read his or her own posts. If the post is created by some other user, then that particular post will not be visible or accessible to this user. But I don't want that. So the, any, any user should be able to read any posts. And I'll also grant, use the grant function again to grant the uh, admin privileges. So user roles dot admin. And here you can simply leverage inheritance by using the extend function here. Okay. So now you're saying extend the, the functionality of one particular role and add it to this user dot admin role. So the one which we want to extend is the user roles dot reader. So I want whatever the reader can do, let the admin can uh, let the admin be able to do that. And apart from that, he should be able to update any posts. Also should be able to create any posts. Okay, and also uh, delete any posts. Okay, so my admin can do anything he wants. So this is all about your roles and the permissions. Okay, uh, I mean I'm pretty sure you will, you will not be able to think of any other possibility. Okay, either you can read anything or read own. Okay, or you can't can't do anything else. Similarly, here I have update any, create any, delete any, so my admin can do anything plus whatever my reader can do. So that's about it. About uh, that's about it for the roles variable. And here I'll come and inside this function call for the for roles. I'll simply calls my call my roles and import it from the file. So once that is done, you save the changes and just check your server. Okay. All right. Wonderful. So in my database, let me just open my database. I don't remember if we have a role or not. Let's check the user entity. So user entity. Okay. At present, it doesn't have any role property. Okay. okay. As you can see here, so we have to first define a column for the role. So I'll define a column. And I'll name it roles. Okay. So make sure you name it roles because the guard that comes along with uh, this uh, control package expects a role roles property or roles column in your database. If you want to change this name, just refer to the documentation and you should be able to change it something else. But I would stick to the convention here and this will be of type user roles. Okay. This is this is of type enum. So here in the column, let's define that type. So I'll give it a type of enum. So my SQL database, it suppose supports enum uh, type very, very well. And there should not be any issues. So user roles. Okay. The enum will be of type user roles. 
and the default value will be user roles dot reader so that's my default value okay so even if you don't pass this parameter it would default to this value here so let's save the changes and hopefully okay it has restarted and let me just check my uh, database quickly just give it a sec so come on come on there you go uh, that's my database block tutorial tables uh users let's see the data so now as you can see i have roles the default value is reader for both of them so since these are these are readers now let's quickly go to our post controller and here in my let's say my create method here so i'm first authenticating so authentication is necessary without authentication i should not be loud at all and once i'm authenticated i would like to protect this with another guard that is ac guard okay that's access control guard in short and it, it should be imported from the nest access control package once you do this then you have to define the uh what do you call the roles property at the rate use roles decorator you have to use this decorator or uh, not user role it's use roles okay this should be imported use roles not user roles i'm going to remove this and this decorator it takes some some properties here okay first one is possession okay second one is let's say action and the last one is resource so resource is posts posts in plur plural form because if you go back to user roles we have it here in uh, in the plur plural form okay so whatever you define here that will be the resource name the action should be can be uh, any one of these four like create update read or delete so in our case this is the create uh, action that we are targeting and the position position can again have two values either any or own okay like this so here you can have either any or like this create own okay so if you say that my uh, position should be any and the action is create and resource is post let's save the changes so only the the person who is having the the i mean these i mean i'm satisfying these three properties will be able to access it so only the admin has a possession of any and a resource of create so you see create any post is given to the admin role let's see if this is working or not so first of all i'll go here and authenticate myself okay i'm authenticated as wonder woman i don't have the admin rights okay it's a reader as i can see here i can fetch all the posts let's see yeah i'm able to fetch the posts it's still working but if i go here uh where is my create post uh, there is a create create endpoint and i try to create a new post it sent it says forbidden resource you see the status code is 403 that means i'm not allowed to create the resource okay but if i go here and make my user number one and you can see there are only two possible values admin or reader i can, I can make it make the user as read uh, as admin and now if i simply uh, let's see how many posts do we have we have third okay let's make the fourth post here fourth post testing uh what are we testing here we are testing role based authorization okay hit send and it should get created this time let's see perfect okay we got our fourth post id number four everything is fine and we can fetch the posts again okay perfect so this is 
all about the role based access and I can simply go to my post controller copy these two things go to my update method here where is it uh, update yeah and paste it here so this time instead of create we update and here this is a delete method so this is a delete action okay now save the changes you are good to go and all the other endpoints are still accessible for anonymous users or unauthenticated users which is fine i am happy with it all right and my and if i just simply log out let's see if i log out here i should not have access to the post let's say let's say we can still access the uh, get endpoint get all posts but if i try to create a post i should get a 401 unauthorized perfect this concludes uh, this video and in the next video we'll start working on the front end okay some some sort of ui because we have worked a lot uh, in the back end stuff and we have uh, achieved a lot i must say so let's quickly uh, see how we can create a new angular project for our front end and back end and we will also look at angular workspaces how we can use uh, an angular workspace to create multiple projects and share the uh, resources between two different projects all right so please stay tuned with me i'll see you in the next video till then please like subscribe and share this video with your friends if you have any suggestions or comments please put those in the comment section below i'll see you in the next time have a wonderful day bye bye